a very good morning students welcome to our second term and here we have first video of our chapter 8 nervous system and sense organ okay so as you can see that in the given picture below we have two pictures on the left side you can easily see the wave like structures in our body are known as nervous system and on the another hand or right hand you can see that we have five sense organs ear skin eye nose and tongue so here we have here we have something to learn so we have human brain nerves and spinal cords so in this video we are going to study about human brain and nerves so what is nervous system made up of the brain spinal cord and nerves make up the nervous system when our brain nerves and spinal cord work accordingly or to coordinate to each other they form nervous system second nervous system used to send receive and process the signals or messages from the sense organ to the nervous system and back to inside the body nervous system will carry all the responses what we have feel through our senses and give the signals to their brains so first we are going to study about our brain so as you can see here we have a structure of brain so what is brain brain is the main control center of the body and protected by the skull brain regulates the body actions and reactions means whatever we do in our daily life all the activities will be controlled by brain so we have some another functions also brain continuously receives informations from the our surroundings and rapidly analyzes the data and then respond so let's discuss some parts of the brain so as you can see the larger part of our brain is known as cerebrum and the next part that below the cerebrum is known as cerebellum it indicates through the blue color and the stalk like structure present below the cerebellum is known as brain stem so these have we have three type three types of part of our brain now we will discuss about the functions of brain parts first cerebrum the largest part of our brain cerebrum is the center of the thinking learning and memory okay so it collects the information from all sense organs and control thinking so as you can see here you can see that cerebrum is a logical part of our brain let's come on to the next part that is cerebellum which lies below the cerebrum cerebellum balances the body postures and center of the creativity and also you can say the part of the emotions of our body next the third part is brain stem brain stem that lies below the cerebellum it connects the brain to the spinal cord is the part of the brain that controls breathing and heart rate beta cerebellum is connected with your brain stem and brain stem connect your brain to your body because from the brain from this portion the brain stem connects your brain to your rest body and as you can see the 
brain stem control the function of your inhaling and exhaling air of your body or you can say breathing process okay so here you can see the video of the brain and brains contain your different different kinds of nerves which carries message and send message and process your messages let's come on to the another part of the nervous system is nerves what are the nerves the nerves nervous system is made up of billions of nerves called neuron beta nerves are the nerves cells means a small small units which combine to form your neuron or nervous system so here as you can see in the given video that these are the nerves and they combine to form your neurons and neurons will collect messages from each other and this is how your messages is going on inside the neurons so let's have a look in the structure of neuron so beta neuron is a like of star like structure okay so we have some parts of the neuron the first the body of the neuron this one this one is the body of neuron okay and the dark brown color is known as that present at the center of the cell body is known as nucleus and finger like projections are arising are known as dendrite okay and the liquid material that present inside the cell body is known as neuroplasm next the disk like shaped are arranging in a one pattern are known as axon and the axons are present and made up of your shown cells and these bud like structures are known as nerve ending so this is the structure of your neuron now let's come on to the what nerves do nerves carry signals to and from the brain so student nerves carry your messages from your sense organ to your brain and from the brain to your sense organ next is types of nerves so as you can see clearly in the given picture we have three types of nerves first motor neuron second interneuron third sensory neuron motor neuron interneuron have another name that is mixed neuron and the third one is your sensory neuron so these are the structure of your different kind of neurons now come on to the functions of all these three neurons or nerves first we will take the function of sensory nerves the sensory nerve carry message from different parts of the body to the brain or spinal cord different parts of the body like our skin eyes ear nose tongue or internal organs okay so as you can see that the skin is our sense organ right and sensory receptor sensory receptor means sensory neuron okay so these are embedded in our skin so when we touch anything hot cold spy spicy or spiny so the sensory neuron will carry the message to the dendrite then to the cell body then it will go through the axon and then to the interneuron or you can say mixed neuron okay and after that it will go to the spinal cord or brain so this is how your sensory nerves will do the work let's come on to the next motor neurons or you can say motor nerves 
the carry message from the brain to the different parts of the body means it will be do the function vice versa of sensory neurons because sensory neuron carry the message from sense organ to the brain but motor neurons will receive the message from brain to the sensor organ next and the last function of the neuron is mixed nerves they have both sensory and motor neurons it means it will perform both function means they carry message from the different parts of the body to the brain as well as from the brain or spinal cord to the different parts of the body so let's take an example of the motor and sensory neuron so here we have a one person and an object a sharp object you can say cactus so cactus is in stimuli okay or external environment and the person is going to be here to give the response so when the person touch the spines with their skin so skin has sensory nerves so sensory nerves carry the message to the brain then brain then brain give the message to the motor nerves and motor nerves will affect on your muscles and give the message just remove your hand from the sharp object so this is how your motor and sensory nerves work together accordingly so students this is all for today and all you need to do is you have to revise all these concept and if you find any kind of query you can call me you can send me your message with your queries thank you